Remember this thing? It's a flip ultra camera. I have filmed most of my YouTube videos over the past decade with this up to September of 2017, so two years ago. But this happened to it. The connector to plug it into your computer broke. So for making YouTube videos it was worthless. The camera still functions, I don't have batteries in it, but you can still get on it and make a video, but you can't do anything with it, so it's pretty much worthless for making video. So I set out to get a replacement camera. I set out to get a new camera, but you know I looked online for a Flip Ultra, and I couldn't find much for cheap. Let me point the fan at me a little bit more. Couldn't find much. Ah, sorry about the noise, but this is it's humid as fuck today, so I decided... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me grab some. So I searched for a new camera, and while doing so, I stumbled upon this guy. It's a Gateway DVS-20 pocket camcorder, 2.1 megapixels, from 2003. I decided, let's get this, because it was, I actually got this for free from the guy. He was generous enough to send it to me for free. Um, so, I got this. See, it's kind of worn there. It happens a lot on plastic like this. Like my DS original has that, but... This thing for video is crap, especially indoors. Uh, low lighting, if you're in low lighting at all, even if you're in good lighting, it'll look like you have no lights at all. It's that bad. Even with the settings adjusted, it's just terrible. So this did not work. But he also included a camera. Here, it's a JVC high def um, pocket camcorder from 2009 and this thing worked okay but the video quality really was not worthy of high def and um, the battery in it is weak so I was not able to use it very effectively and the video size was huge so that did not work out great and then I decided I was just using other things to film my videos, including an iPad 2 camera, so that was great. And then I decided to buy a webcam for cheap high def. So Microsoft Life Cam Cinema, I still use this to this day, but it's a webcam and not a handheld camera, so it did not fill the needs that I needed. <laughs> um, so this did not work out for what I wanted to do, but it does work for doing my live streams in some computer. Like my pickups videos and things like that I can also do on this. But, it has a lot of problems and I've made videos about that. In terms of my systems are not capable of handling this for some reason. So I at one point also picked up another camera, which is a Logitech Quick Cam. To try to get something a little bit less intensive and it worked okay but again it's a webcam and that resolution wasn't very great and the sound was pretty bad so so i got some webcams along the way too i also got some other cameras that i have not filmed videos with but they're not going to be shown because i haven't made videos with them so after a while i decided i need another handheld camera so i picked up this some must tech or a muse tech DV4SE, like the DVS20, there you go. Um, and this guy was definitely, it was better than that, but it wasn't great. Uh, it was very choppy, it was still kind of dark, very, a lot of noise in the images. 
so not great. Uh, it was better than that, but not by a whole lot, so yeah, it's not saying much. So this did not work. So I decided let's go with a brand that's more reliable. <laughs> I picked up a flip. But it's an older model of flip, as you can see, it's not the same thing as that. Um, and it has a couple things wrong with it. I dropped it. You want to know why I dropped it? Because there's no tripod slot, so I had to set it up in a strange way. I dropped it, and it damaged the, uh, the batteries. The battery slot down in there. Something got damaged, so whenever I'd move it around a lot, it would just kill the camera. But, and also the quality of the video and audio was overall lesser, and I could not um, edit the video very easily. It came out of this camera. So this one was a bit of a fail, uh, and the sound, like I said, is much worse, so this overall was kind of a failure. And by this point, I, well, I'd given up trying to get another one of these, because I don't know exactly why I gave up on trying to just buy another one of these, but I did. <laughs> so that didn't work out great, so I got this. It's a Canon PowerShot A710IS camera. Now this one's nice. I like this one a lot, actually. Um, oh, you can see it. Look at that. There you go. Um, we'll talk about it in a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's a Canon PowerShot A710IS. Um, it's a nice. This is a great camera, honestly. It really is a great camera. But for what? I think there's batteries in this too. No. Kind of heavy, actually, but. This is a good one, but my problem with it was, uh, well, I didn't really actually have a problem with this. I just decided to use this for my videos instead, and then we'll kind of get into a different part of the story. Um, then I was given this guy, which I still use this to this day because it's an excellent camera as well. It's a Canon PowerShot A580, and I have a lot of these um, A5 lines, and I'll show them later. Uh, this is a great camera. For video, it's not as excellent because the frame rate is lower. It's only 24 FPS, so it appears a bit choppy. Um, so I did use these for some time. Then for Christmas of that year, so I stopped. This is um, September 2017, October 2017. I got this October 2018, actually, just as a replacement for that. Not trying to replace that, but I got this in. Uh, November 2017, December 2017, December 2017, March 2018. Then I got this guy. Which is a Flip Ultra. It looks pretty damn similar other than the color, doesn't it? But it's not the same thing. The video is different. The video filmed on this, if you have noticed, is quieter than the video filmed on this by a great margin. Uh, and also the quality is slightly different. And I found out, even though it's a flip, they're both flip ultras. Let me crack into them here. Flip ultra second generation. It's not going to show up. Model U1120B. Let's get this guy open. Flip ultra second generation. Model U1120Y. That's what it was. Even though it's still a flip ultra second gen, it's not the same thing as that. So it was like shit. It's hard to do this with one hand. So yeah, that didn't work out well. And also there's a bunch of issues with this thing. Like the power button doesn't work great. I got lucky that time. Um, so this did not work out. But at least I have a backup. So. Yeah, so flip my history of flips and then I was another gracious donation to my collection um, all for free I got some more cannons here we got a Canon A590 IS which is almost identical to this one here and then this is a Canon PowerShot A570 which is older than these two, but not as old as this one. This is a nice one too. It's the closest in quality to the 710 out of all these Canons. And then I got a Canon PowerShot A490, which is a 
pretty nice camera, but the problem with this camera is the way that the battery slot is made on this one. If you see these ones, you bring up one that's lighter. There's a little pin there you gotta push up on and then it releases. On this guy, there's no such thing, so it will pop open on its own and then you your video ends. So you have to cover that with a piece of tape in order for it to not come off. So yeah, these are all these cannons are good. The cannons are awesome as far as I'm concerned. But overall I do prefer the video filmed with a flip. So I did not get these for making my YouTube videos, but I still may make some videos with them because they're cool. Uh, these are more multi-purpose, so I definitely have quite the arsenal you can see. And it's funny, I never would have ended up with any of these if I would have just purchased... Well, I would have ended up with this one, for sure, and maybe with these ones. But this one, or this guy right here, if I would have just bought another one of these at the time, um, I wouldn't have all this, I wouldn't have that either. <laughs> But as you can obviously see, in the flip, there's another one. There is another flip. So, I'll show it off in the, the mirror. You can see it. It's the same thing. It is a... You can compare the video quality to my old videos I made on this flip. Uh, this one, the one that I'm holding right now is a U1120B, so it's the same thing as this, it's identical. And I have compared the video and the sound quality and it's the same, so guess what? I have another one. Now the only issue with this camera, the thing on the side, the release, sounds just like it should. Mine kind of sounds different now. Um, but. I gotta say if you'll compare get all these other cameras out of the way I have too many now <laughs> um, if you'll compare these you can see this is just a plastic shell just plastic yeah, yeah it's just plastic but the this model the black one has a different coating on it Kind of like a rubbery coating on the inside it's just plastic but this has a special coating on it and so does this part all these uh, black pieces have that coating on it and unfortunately on the one that I have the coating is extremely sticky that happens with this kind of stuff uh, if you have ever used an old blackberry phone they had the same thing a lot of older phones had the same thing, and it it's sticky. So, <laughs> unfortunately, if I were to set this guy down, let me do that. My hands are quite sticky, and what it got me is you can stick this to the wall. You can stick the top to the wall. It's not as bad as it was when I got it, but you can stick it to the wall, and you can kind of hear it. Like, you hear it? I touch my finger to it. Now listen. Might not be able to hear it, but if I do the same thing here, it doesn't do that. So it's sticky, but other than that, it works fine. I mean, I don't. I tried really hard to get the sticky off of it, but it's just not coming off fully. Um, even with water, it did not come off. I soaked. I literally soaked the camera in water, and it did not help. <laughs> Luckily, I did not destroy the function of the camera, but. Yeah, so there's my camera crisis. It's September 20 it's September 2019 and I started this when this broke in September 2017. So yeah. But the problem here um, originated a long time ago. It it's been like that since uh, like 2015. So I had to be careful with it for a while and eventually it stopped reading it all together and then it ripped shortly after that so excellent piece of kit uh, the fact that I ran this thing from December 2009 to September 2017 with no issues other than this and I dropped this thing quite frequently I treated it like junk when I was a kid I threw this thing a couple of times when I was a kid 
a young kid. Um, so overall, I gotta say these flips here, they are very reliable. I'm glad to have another one, and if I can get, if I can deal with the sticky thing, man, this is gonna be my camera again, because I mean, it just, it works great. I mean, people will say to go to high def, and I do have high def cameras, but they aren't great. The best way for me to make a high def video is to use a, a smartphone camera. But I don't like the way that video looks from a smartphone. It just looks weird because of the way that you have to handle this smartphone. And I like the flip because I can just... It's a smaller file size so I can upload it quickly. I can just plug it in, upload the video, and it's no problem. Um, not a huge deal to most people. But it makes me much more willing to upload a video, and I know I don't have to put a whole lot of time into making it. I just film the video, and it's up within 10, 20 minutes, if even that, so. Yep. That's my flip. My camera crisis as a result of this guy breaking. Again, this does not include smart devices that I used to film. I filmed videos on an iPad 2 for some time after this broke. I filmed videos on multiple different smartphones. And I filmed videos on my Fujifilm camera and my PlayStation 2 iToy. My built-in iMac webcams. And a few other things. So, <laughs> I have filmed, and iPod Touches, just different things like that. I've filmed videos with a lot of cameras since this. And up to the point that this broke, I'd only had like four cameras because I used this as my only camera until 2012. And then I got an iPod Touch 4 and used that as my camera until I got the 5th gen a year later. I used that until mid-2015 when I returned to this. And then starting in early 2016, whenever this problem began to get bad, I switched to a PlayStation 2 iToy, which was a drastic downgrade. But that was what I used for some time, and then I went back to this guy. And I also got that Fuji film in addition to it, so I use that on occasion. Um, and then I just switch back to this for the most part till it broke. So it, it had a long life. This has been a great camera, um, very great, uh, big piece of my history. So yeah. And the new one, like I say, I just got to deal with the sticky stuff, and honestly. If I could get the sticky stuff off the top, off of this piece, and off of this, and then this. I can always just put the plate from this on this guy. Because, um, like I said, the plate's perfectly fine. Yeah. I probably should have just purchased another one of these in hindsight, but, you know, I decided to go off on an adventure because I... It's just looking... Now, I would also be interested, I probably won't be buying many more cameras in the future, but I would be interested in trying the HD version of this. There is one that looks identical to this, but it's just high def. It's not excellent high def, but it is high def. It's 720, so that I would be slightly interested in, but that will probably be sometime in the future. So, yeah, I mean, because I would like to start filming vids in high def, it just is a matter of I don't know how reliable the high def version of this would be. So, and I don't really edit my videos, as most of you know. So, <laughs> I will have a couple videos coming out soon. Um, I want to, my next video is going to be on Call of Duty 4. So, yep. Catch you guys later.